Hey, it's your gamer friend PD, and we're back in Nino Kuni. We're gonna try to do this boss fight again, the last test of strength. Um, yes, we'll take it. That's what I'm not gonna read this. We read it all last time, a bunch of times. I'm gonna skip the cutscene. Um, someone that watched the last episode and watched me fail gave me some tips. Apparently, um, I was letting my guy. Oh, come on, get get trial. off the mic. Get off the mic. This looks a bit flippin' serious. Cat. Skip. All right. I was letting I was letting my I was letting my guy get fatigued, and apparently that's like a serious problem. So I'm gonna try to keep an eye on that. Get away from him. Spells. Pulse. And I'm gonna try to. Spells. Pulse. Spells. Pulse. Oh, I don't want to attack. I want to use the spells. Spells. Pulse. Okay, we'll get there, yeah. Damn it. Ugh. Is Esther's dead already? Are you freaking kidding me? Um, spells. I don't have any magic points left. Provisions. Uh, ice coffee. Alright. Spells. Pulse. Spells, nothing. Um, Alright. Provisions. Ice coffee. Um, I'm gonna switch to Mighty for a second. Let's see if you can knock some. Uh, what do you call it? Alright, stop. Run away. Alright, run back. Switch to Ollie again, and he's gonna. Oh shit! 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 God, if you press the wrong button, it does not pause time. That's just so annoying. Um, provisions. We'll do a sandwich. So let's see. Defend. I don't know if I did it or not. Spells. Might as well switch to Mighty since I only have physical attacks left. Alright, defend. I think I got it in time. Yes. Um, oh look, there's a magic point. Damn it! Come on, get up. All I need is this. Okay, now switch to Ollie. Uh, spells. Frostbite, I guess. Where are you going? Points. Ten. Okay. Um, let's use provisions and take the sandwich. Have any magic points? I guess I should switch to all. Uh, yeah. It's about time it. You should say it now's your chance, right? Okay, run away, run away! Ah, damn it. Okay, well there's some hit points at least. Come on, give me this. All right. Why are there no magic points? That's what I want to know. Okay, looks like he's about to do a devastation. Oh well, he did the. Okay, whatever. Um, let's switch to what's his face here. 
This is stupid. There's the golden ball thing. Oh man, how did I miss that? Fuck. Oh, I interrupted his I interrupted his super attack. And of course I have no magic points. Come on, come on. Come on. Alright, uh Mighty's Alright, this beastie here's got a big old shield protecting his back. <sighs> well, what the f- Thanks. Like, he's almost dead and you're telling me that? Okay. Let's, uh... Oh, shit, I'm trying to switch. Defend. Damn it! If I die right now, I'm so pissed. Alright. Provisions. Uh, sandwich. Let's go. Run away from this stupid... Attack. Um, okay, now I've got full health. Let's put the the lemur guy on again. Oh, what am I doing? He's almost dead. Come on. You better die. Ugh. Hmm. I'm sorry, I don't remember your name, dude, but thank you for the tip, because you just, uh... Here, I'll look you up right now while it's doing the little recap here. I got a Spirit of the Temple. Let's see. Oliver reached level 14. Mighty reached level 14. Mighty learned Pebble Pelt. Siddler reached level 13. Esther reached level 11. Gogo reached level 11. Gogo learned Sea Sense. Alright, so, um. Where are we? Uh, SDW4527. Thank you for telling me what I was doing wrong. Supreme Sage, heh! You passed the test of strength. And now we got the proof of strength. We did it, we did it. Yay, we sure did. That's the last trial, you passed them all. Oh, I got you a graduation present, here. A page describing the bridge spell. Uh, the broom broom spell, okay. New spells. Thank you very much, Master Solomon. Tidy, they look proper useful ones. Two. Of course they are stupid. I wouldn't give them rubbish ones, would I? Anyway, it's time for the main event. My specialist f subject, familiars. I'm going to teach you the secrets of creature taming. Oh, this is the Pokemon stuff. Creature taming? Oh, that sounds interesting. Heh, you're a bit annoying, but at least you're enthusiastic. Okay, first we'll talk about serenading. What's serenading? I'm just about to tell you, aren't I, stupid? It's something you can't do without a special instrument for a start. An instrument? So that means... Yep, leave it to me, Oliver. I better give it to you... I better give you it before we can carry on. Mbopa, master. Master. Here, take this. It's called the Heart's Winning Heart. Wow, it's beautiful. Okay. Thank you. It's not just beautiful, it's useful too. You can play it to tame creatures and make them your familiars. It, it's probably easier to show you than to explain. You're quite slow after all. Oh, look at those guys. 
I've prepared three creatures for you to tame. Pick one you like the look of. Yes, Your Honor. You can tame creatures during battle. Try it out with these. Don't look so scared. They're my pets. They won't attack you. Hmm. Wimps. But how do I tame them? Well, every now and again, and again, when you beat a creature, it will be so impressed it will fall in love with you. If that happens, yucky hearts will appear above its head like this. Hee <laughs> hee. Aw, oh, that's sweet. Erg. Anyway, when you see the hearts, it's time for you to play a serenade. If you manage not to mess it up, the creature becomes tame and joins you as one of your familiars. That seems simple enough. It doesn't matter who beats a creature, it can still go all gooey and girly and lovey-dovey, but only you can tame it, Esther. So if you want a creature to join us, Esther has to play the song? I just said that, didn't I? Stop asking stupid questions and give it a try. Okay, yes, Your Honor, but which one shall we pick? Okay. Why do we have to flip and pick? Can't he give us the whole lot of them, the stingy old so-and-so? What's the matter, spoiled for choice? Well then, well, when you've finished moaning and growing, just let me know which one you want me to give you completely for free. Okay, so, let's see. Body, body, blah, blah, I don't know what that means. That stupid looking one's called a shonky honker. It's got a good defense and magical attack, and can put enemies to sleep as well. It's a bit of an all-rounder, I suppose. You should definitely choose that one over the other two. They're rubbish. Okay. Boo. Hehehe. <laughs> hey. This one's called a Boggly Boo. It might have a spooted name, but you could scare the can pants off people even worse than me. It packs a hefty punch and can learn some pretty nasty tricks, too. Hehehe. <laughs> you should definitely choose that one over the other two. They're rubbish. Hmm. Seeing a pattern here. Pee-wee! This cute little creature is called a Nyad. So there! It's not very good at normal attacks, but it's got some decent magical ones, and it's a great healer, so it's helpful to have around. You should definitely choose that one over the other two. They're rubbish. Hmm. I have to choose you as a... Have you decided which one you want to be your new familiar yet? Um, yeah, I guess so. Really, we might as well do the same way as you do when you tame a creature in normal battle. In case you've forgotten, that means you have to beat the creature up, then get Esther to play a serenade for it. And don't wait your pants. I've told him not to attack you so your wimps don't get scared and run away. Now the bat to the battlefield. Okay, so now I have to fight one of these guys. I don't even know if I have. Stay calm now. Right then, daughter Rashad, are you ready? You're the only one who can use that harp. You better try it out, hadn't you? Right. Now, there's three creatures here. You have to pick one to be your new familiar. You know how to tame a creature, don't you? First, you have to beat it in battle. These ones are friends of mine, so I've told them not to fight back when you bash them. Well, come on, beat up the creature you want to be your new best friend. Um, I can't decide between the Nyad, which is kind of cute looking, and the Boggly Boo, which will be a good combat. Well, I think I'm going to take... No, I don't want him. I want... How do you switch? Oh, okay, I like this. Boggly Boo, Shonky Hunker. Uh, I'm gonna take this one, even though I'm gonna regret it. Well, I don't need really hit points, do I? going swimmingly. What if I attack another one now? Wouldn't that be funny? Oh, I won't. Oh yeah, I can. I can switch. <laughs> ah, I'll just stick with this one. Okay, so now I do... Ha, look at that. It's up on his feet again. Creatures do that sometimes when you beat them in battles. See those yucky pink hearts over its head? That means you can tame it. If Esther's near a creature with hearts over its head, she can use her heart command. Then she can choose whether to play a serenade, tame it, or let it go back into the wild. But if you don't choose quickly, it'll run off anyway. I've told these ones not to run away because you're beginners and you're probably rubbish. So we'll heart it. Serenade.
You've tamed the Lagoon Naiad. Easy. Easy. Good job, Esther. So now I have to keep Esther alive. That's the, the new challenge. Uh, Gemma 1, I guess we'll just keep... <laughs> yes, we're gonna name Gemma 1. Okay. We did it! We tamed a wild creature. Or a creature. Hey, not bad for a tourist try, I suppose. Like I said, anyone can beat a creature, but Esther has to play a song to tame it. So you have to work together if you want to get more familiar. I know it's hard for selfish brats like you, but you'll just have to try. Yes, Master Solomon, we understand. Neato, huh, Hester? Esther? Oh, and you can have three more familiars as well as the ones you used in battle. Tidy, but what happens if we get overexcited and tame more familiars than we've got room for? Then you'll have to stop, speak a little to a little friend of mine. Look over there for a second. Oh, finally. Hello. What a funny looking little thing. Is he familiar too? Don't be stupid, that's a rep from the familiar retreat. He'll take any familiars you don't need off your hands and keep them safe back at the retreat. Oh, oh there's useful. It looks like you'll be keeping Bester, uh, busy then, eh? eh, Esther? I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait to see what kinds of creatures there are out there to tame. You can find familiar retreat holes in every town you visit, even in some dangerous places, too. I think I've seen some in places of evil been already. Hang on, look. Your familiar's ready to metamorphose. Meta what? Blimey, I have to teach you about that as well, do I? You don't know anything. Fine, teach you all about metamorphosis, too. But give me a break first, will you? Explaining this is going to give me a face ache. Okay, so go up here. He's going to tell us all about it. Right, it's time to teach you about metamorphosis. This is boring, so listen carefully. I'm not explaining it again. If you look, you can see your familiar wants to metamorphose. And for that one, you'll need one of these here. You obtained a sum drop, okay? Is this some kind of treat? That's not just any old treat. Look, just try it, will you? I'm bored of talking. Give it to that mite you've got there. Feed it to him in the creature cage, you mean? Okay, here it goes. So, creature cage, so we click on Mighty. We give him a sun drop. Yes. And we, he becomes a Mighty Might. Awesome. Yes. Alright, change clothes. <laughs> okay. The number of tricks Mighty Might can perform in battle increase by one. Okay. Nito, look at my familiar. That's metamorphosis. When familiars get big enough, you can feed them special treats to make a change into a new version. Metamorphosis, got it. When a familiar is metamorphosed, they get stronger, look different, and learn better tricks. <clears throat> they also get to gobble up more gems, meaning you can teach them even more tricks. The treats you feed them need to feed a familiar and make it metamorphose depending on its sign, something you never would have worked out on your own. Oh, and here's another piece of priceless wisdom you don't deserve. When familiars metamorphose, they go back to level one. Oh, great. But that doesn't mean you're back to square one. Once you train them up, they'll be more powerful than they were before. Whether you metamorphose your familiars or not is up to you. Some idiots prefer to stick with what they've got. Do what you want, I don't care. Now, you don't need anything else explaining, do you? You're fine with what I've told you, right? Yes, Master Solomon. Good, I hate explaining all that stuff. Anyway, if you want to hear about the boring details again, you can just ask that boring old telling stone you've got there. Did someone say my name? Eek. It's, it is as his supremacy says. I can replicate his explanations in, a min, in minute detail at any given time, any time you choose. You only need to ask and... Boring. Ugh, you haven't changed. Anyway... Now you know how it all works, you can get out there and tame loads of familiars and make them metamorphose. Thank you very much, Your Honor. Ta, your supremitude. Right, where to next then? Can we go back to Alma Moon quickly? I want to see how my father's getting on. 
Sure, we can ask him about the other great sages, too. Goodbye, Master Solomon. Thanks for everything. Don't mention it. I mean, shut up and get lost. Oh, nice. Malma Moon. I think I'm going to save when we get outside. And, you know what? I'm going to heal up. I don't know if I lost any hit points or whatever. I think he leveled up, so maybe not. But just to be sure. Okay. No, we don't want to save our progress. We're going to save our progress outside once we're in the world map. You know what? While I'm thinking about it. Creature Cage. Mighty's level 1. So we can give him these treats. Let's see. Increases magical attack. Increases magical defense. Well, those aren't really stuff that he needs. Well, I guess, well... Um, let's see, let's... His magical attack needs to be up. Let's see. There we go, look at that. Give him the magical defense token here. There we go. So, there we go. So now our new guy's got more. more stuff. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. We'll just save. Let's see what he do. Go like this. Save. Yes, we'll save. And um, we'll see you on Thursday with some more Nino Kuni. PD out.